Hey guys, I finally found it. The new Wet n Wild limited edition spring collection. So there are highlighters, there are eyeshadow palettes, there are liquid eyeliners, and there are nail polishes. The nail polishes are really pretty and were very tempting, but I could probably dupe those colors if I looked in my collection, so I didn't pick up any of those, but I could always change my mind. Um, yeah, they're really pretty. They're the Megalast formula, and there were four colors, and they were all like pastel baby type colors, like um, light mint, baby blue, baby pink, and... Um, I forget what the fourth one was, but they were all like really light, pretty colors for spring. And then the liquid eyeliners were also pastels. I remember seeing like a baby blue, a white, and I don't remember what the other one was. But I don't really use liquid eyeliners, so there was no point in picking those up. Now there were three highlighters. I bought two because one of them I knew that I just would never use it. And then there's two eyeshadow palettes. I bought both of those. So I did my look today with um, some of the products. So let's start with the most obvious, uh, my eyes. Yeah, there are two palettes. The first one is called the New Romantics, and that's what I'm wearing. These are trios. They are $2.99 a piece. So, dollar for each eyeshadow. Can't beat that. And these were worth the hunt. They have a really nice texture to them. They have a very soft, blendable texture. And uh, I like them a lot. Okay, so these are Color Icon Eyeshadow Trios. And this is the one that I have on. And I used it just the way, you know, that they recommend it. Just to start with, sometimes I'll do that in the beginning and then I'll play around with things later on. And these two palettes complement each other, so you could do a look using both palettes very easily. So the Brow Bone Highlight is what I have on my Brow Bone. And it's a very soft, white, creamy with shimmer. Really, really pretty. Nice, nice texture on these. This is the crease color. The crease color is like a very soft, cool, light pink. And then on my lids is a light lilac type color. So those are the three shades in the new world. Yikes! <laughs> Uh, didn't break, didn't break. Catastrophe averted. Um, these are the three shades in the new Romantics palette. And then if I swatch them on my hand, so they even swatch very nicely from my fingers. Now, before I move on to the next palette, I gotta tell you guys, it's wet and wild they do this all the time but they're getting even worse in the sense that the display was so small there was only two of each color on the display so I've been checking like crazy going to Walgreens oh that's where I found this by the way at Walgreens and I've been checking like crazy going to the stores like every other day and going to different ones and I got the second one of this on the display. So that's it. Two people can get each one, which that's so horrible. I can't believe they don't make the displays bigger. But just wanted to give you a heads up on this. If you want this collection, you're going to have to be one of the first people to find it because there's only two eyeshadows of each one on the display. Okay, this next one is called to Indio I Go Go <laughs> and um, it's spelled like that I know it's a little blurry but so kind of a play on words there and this one this one looks like that 
And the brow bone highlight on this one is a pale gold, I would say, and shimmery. Now, all three shades on that other palette were shimmery, but I can sure you could tell by the swatches. On this one, the crease is, it's a shimmery lilac, but it's um, more like a satin. So it doesn't, it, it has some shimmer in it, but not much. And let me swatch that brow bone. The brow bone one is really, really shimmery. But the crease one is more like a satin, but it does have some shimmer in it. And then the eyelid shade is a light blue, and it looks like it has one shade as the actual powder, and then there's a different shade of blue for the shimmer. So those are the three shades in To Indio I Go Go. <laughs> Stupid name. And let's see how they swatch. So that one is really pretty too. I think that in terms of swatching and performance, I think the one I have on is gonna be a little bit easier in terms of application and blending, but they're, they're both really pretty. Really, really pretty. Okay, and there's three highlighter palettes. One of them was very warm and very, um, uh, like a warm peach, a deep warm peach, I would say, and I just knew that I probably would never use it, so I got the two that I was most likely going to use. This is the thing, this is the highlighter out of the three that I was most excited about. This is called Where the Dreamers Go, and I have this on, and how pretty is that? So this is just like a really subtle like a white pearl when it's swatched but how pretty is that mosaic pattern they call these geometric highlighting powders and if I just swirl my finger in it in all the colors you get a white white pearl See, I still got swatches on there, so let's do it somewhere else. So it's very subtle, and I think if you don't have fair skin or light skin, it isn't even going to show up on you, but this is a really pretty highlight for anybody with light skin. The next one is called Desert Explorations. And this is what this one looks like. So you've got like a, a cream, a beige, and a tan in there. And this is all the colors swirled together. So it's like a, it's a beige, I would say. And then. So I would do that with like a warmer look, and I, I probably wouldn't use that highlighter with either one of these eyeshadow palettes, but that'll be a really pretty highlighter with more of a warmer look. Uh, so those are the four shades that I, those are the four items that I got. The highlighters are $4.99, the eyeshadow palettes are $2.99. And as far as how many highlighting palettes were on the display, I want to say three of each shade, so not a lot on those either. So yeah, if you're interested in this collection, you're going to have to really do some hunting. You'll have to be one of the first people to get to it. I hate that they do that, but we have no control over that. That's how it is. I found these at Walgreens. 
but they have also been spotted, I heard, at Harmon Drugstores, uh, Bed Bath & Beyond, Christmas Tree Shop, all the affiliates that go with that company, the Bed Bath & Beyond company. And um, so any place that sells Wet n Wild limited edition collections is where you'll probably find these. I really like them. And the nail polishes, the colors on the nail polishes look really familiar. I think they've done something very similar to that in the past, maybe even last spring. Um, so I I'm happy with it. I'm really happy with the way the eyeshadows perform. The highlights are subtle, but if you watch my channel regularly, you know I like subtle highlights. I don't like crazy highlights. So I'm really, really happy with all four things that I picked up. I haven't um, actually used that other eyeshadow palette on my eyes yet, but I can tell, kind of tell by the way it swatches that it's going to be similar to the New Romantics one, but I, I think I prefer the New Romantics one. Um, but yeah, so really happy with these, and uh, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.